a few moments we want you to look back and watch how some of the wonders we take for granted nowadays have grown from small beginnings. What shall we look at first? Growth is the right word for railway engines. They've certainly grown since George Stevenson's rocket was drawing open coaches at the dangerous speed of 10 miles per hour. And since then, engines have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now the wonder engine of today, Cocker the North, with a maximum speed round about 100 miles an hour. Motor cars too have been growing. Was this perhaps one of Oliver Cromwell's bright ideas? Slightly more practical, don't you think? Or don't you? Some of these are still running. In fact, you've probably seen them in the annual Old Crocs run to Brighton. And so by our father's family four and brother Sammy's snappy sports to Blue Bird. Probably the most outstanding example of colossal growth is the airship, the earliest idea. Watch it. How's that for comfort and speed? Delana thought balloons might be more manageable than eagles. They really got down to the job towards the end of last century, with dirigibles which had some sort of motive power, so that the navigator could at any rate control the direction in which he wanted to travel. and from these to the present-day transatlantic zeppelin. This is one way of crossing the Atlantic, and this is certainly not another. But airplanes weren't really a practical success until the Wright men, uh, pardon me, the, the brothers Wright, came along. Doesn't look very safe, does it? Who said white lines was a new idea? And perhaps this is where Mr. Horbelisha saw his first beacon. A long jump to the modern flying boat with its multiple high-powered engines. What's this? Oh, a bicycle. Hard luck, boys, not made for two. The modern two-wheeler is one of the things which is definitely smaller today than uh, at this period. And girls, look at those hats. Whilst on the subject of clothes, hold it, hold it. What about ladies' panties? Like bicycles, uh, they're getting smaller and smaller. Grandmas couldn't very well get uh, bigger, could they? And have we reached the limit today? Certainly not. This is what uh, Eve may wear in the year 2000. Uh, if the gentlemen will shut their eyes a moment. Sorry, folks, a moth got into them first. <laughs> 